Let's first try to show this, and I'm going to start with the left hand side, which is x minus 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 3 minus away 2 minus 2x over 2x minus x squared plus 1. And for what we have now, I'm going to try to combine them into one single expression. So this numerator here will be x minus 1 multiplied by this, which is 2x minus x squared plus 1. Minus away this, which is 2 minus 2x multiplied by this, which is x squared minus 2x plus 3. And this is going to be divided by the, the multiplication of these two, which is x squared minus 2x plus 3. And here we have a 2x minus x squared plus 1. And we will be expecting a negative that will be shifted from the numerator to the denominator to be multiplied to this because the negative of this expression is actually what we are supposed to be showing here. This is the same as this. So we got to try to simplify the numerator first. And for the numerator, let me just rewrite. We have a x minus 1. 2x minus x squared plus 1. And I'm going to try to factorize out 2, which will then give me a 1 minus x, x squared minus 2x plus 3. And 1 minus x is actually one of the factors in the numerator. And we have an x minus 1. So we can actually very easily factorize out a 1 minus x. Let me continue to write the denominator first. We have this multiply by this 2x minus x squared plus 1. So factorizing our 1 minus x, which will probably give me this expression here, what we are going to be left with here is going to be a minus 2x plus x squared minus 1. Then minus away 2 times of this x squared minus 2x plus 3. So this is going to be divided by x squared minus 2x plus 3, then 2x minus x squared plus 1. So in the numerator, we now will have a 1 minus x, and this is minus 2x plus x squared minus 1, minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. And this is going to be divided by this x squared minus 2x plus 3, and a 2x minus x squared plus 1. So in the numerator here, it is going to be 1 minus x. And as for this, okay, x squared minus 2x squared. That will give me a minus x squared. And a minus 2x plus 4x gives me a plus 2x. Minus 1 minus 6 gives me a minus 7. This is going to be divided by x squared minus 2x plus 3. And here is 2x minus x squared plus 1. And I'm going to shift a negative out from here and then multiplying it to the denominator, which will then give me a 1 minus x. Then this will be x squared minus 2x plus 7, which is now the same as this expression. So we have gotten the numerator divided by this, which is x squared minus 2x plus 3. And the negative that was shifted to the denominator will cause this to become x squared minus 2x minus 1, which is now the same as this. And this is what we were trying to show. In the second part, we are supposed to solve this inequality. And it is pretty obvious that I'm going to make use of the previous result that we have shown by moving this over to the left hand side. So when we have a x minus 1 over, this is x squared minus 2x plus 3. Moving this over to the left hand side, this is 2 minus 2x over, this will be 2x minus x squared plus 1. This is bigger or equal to 0, and this is equal to this that we have shown. So I'm going to replace this left-hand side by 1 minus x. Then we have a x squared minus 2x plus 7 divided by this denominator here will be x squared minus 2x plus 3 and x squared minus 2x minus 1. This is bigger or equal to 0. I'm going to leave this as it is since it's already a linear expression. As for this, I'm going to complete square in order for me to test whether it is actually possible for me to even factorize it. So for this expression here, 
completed square form of this will be x minus 1 square minus 1 square plus 7. It is going to be plus 6. So this is an always positive expression. It cannot be factorized any further. I'm going to do the same thing for this and this. So let's try out for this. So for this over here, it is going to be x minus 1 square plus 2. Okay, it cannot be factorized also since this expression is also always positive. As for this, we have uh, x minus 1 square minus 2. Okay, this can be factorized further. I'm going to have a discussion of this and this first because I want to acknowledge that they are both positive. So I will write down a statement since this x minus 1 square plus 6 and this other expression here, which is x minus 1 square plus 2, they are positive, and not just positive, they are positive for all real values of x. So if they are all positive for all real values of x, I can actually divide this across to the other side, which will then make this disappear, and the, the right-hand side is still going to be 0. I'm going to multiply this across to the other side, since it's always positive, and this will disappear, and it is still going to be 0. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to be left with a 1 minus x over this. x minus 1 square minus 2, which I'm going to write it as square root of 2 square. So we have this. This is big or equal to 0, and now we can factorize the denominator further, which will then give me in the denominator uh, x minus 1 plus square root of 2. Sorry, no square. <laughs> and uh, x minus 1 minus square root of 2. This is going to be big or equal to 0. And now I can draw the number line to represent what we have here. So we are going to have a 1 minus square root of 2, we will have from here a 1, and we will have one more, which is 1 plus square root of 2. So this number line is for x. If I were to substitute a value that is bigger than 1 plus square root of 2 into here, we can observe that it is going to be negative, this is going to be positive, and this is going to be positive. So overall, negative divided by positive divided by positive, this will give me a negative. I will do the same thing for a number that is in between here. It is going to give me a positive, and this will be negative, this will be positive. So we are looking for the regions which is going to result for me a positive number, which is going to be this and this. But let's not forget that this number here and this number here, which belongs to the denominator of this, and if I were to just trace this back, it belongs to the denominator of... Um, which expression is it going to be? It's going to be the denominator for this particular expression here. So if it is the denominator for this particular expression here, it cannot be 0, which means that my final answer is going to be x to be strictly less than 1 minus square root of 2, since x cannot be equal to this, or else it's going to cause the denominator here to be 0, and it will cause this entire expression here to be undefined. So it will be this or this region, it can be equal to 1, so I'm going to be writing it to be big or equal to 1, but it is going to be strictly less than 1 plus square root of 2. For the same reason, if x is equal to 1 plus square root of 2, it's going to cause the denominator to be 0, and it's going to cause the entire expression to be undefined. So this is now my answer to this inequality.